Hey guys, Retro's here with you. Welcome to another episode of Neverwinter Nights 1, original campaign with our bard, uh, which we are playing. Uh, so let's load her up here. Here we are, Kala Undomniel. Also, I, I've been watching or looking through these in the past few days as I've been recording them. I know this game doesn't translate the best that it could uh, the, it's not the best game. It doesn't translate as well to YouTube, but I apologize for that. I'll try to zoom in as much as I can. It's just difficult for me to see what's happening when I zoom in. But anyway, we have been tasked by Lady Arabeth to find the water daving creatures that escaped. The water daving creatures are needed for the cure for the Wailing Death. So we're off right now in search of a henchman. And we're in the Trader Blades, and we're going to look for one. So there's a few we can choose from, and this, yep, Greetings. here's one. I see you are not yet infected by the plague that ravages Neverwinter. Among such suffering and misery, we who are not yet afflicted must be grateful for our health. Dalen is actually one of my favorites. So we'll see here. We might take him. We'll see. Dalen Red Tiger, the Uthgard tribes of the frozen north. But it has been over a year since I left my people and came to Neverwinter. How I earn my living. Oh, now I earn my living as a blade for I hire. Uh, let's see. You're quite well spoken for. Oh, that's me. <laughs> You're quite well spoken for a half orc. My father was an orc, and the blood of his inhuman race is in my veins. But I was raised by my mother among the tribes of the Uthgard. I'm sorry, but I don't know much about the Uthgard tribes. There are some in the city who call my savage people savages and barbarians, but they know nothing of the Uthgard. We are great warriors and hunters, following the herds and living off the land. My tribe is noble but small. Among them there was little chance for a young warrior to prove himself or earn a wife. But I am young and strong, and my people are renowned for their skill in battle. Here in Neverwinter I found work on the docks as a guard for the cargo and shipments being transported. Then what happened? The coming of the plague changed everything. The quarantine halted all incoming or outgoing ships. There was no work and no money. I should have left the docks then. Many of the dock workers were afflicted, men I had come to know as friends. I stayed to ease their suffering, but in the end I could do nothing to save them from the wailing death. With my friends dead, there was no reason to stay in the docks, not with things getting worse. Now I earn a living with my axe as a freelance mercenary. Alright, I'm gonna give you guys some time to read. Except for me, I'll do my responses. What did you mean about the docks getting worse? Oh, he's telling us something about the docks region we need to know. Hmm. Anything else you can tell me about the docks? Auction. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we could take Dalen, but I'm going to say no thanks for now just because I want to look at the other options. Um, oh wait, there's one over here. This is Sharwin. I can almost guarantee you we're not going to take her because she's a bard, but we'll talk to her. Who's this? Some poor soul straggling in off the diseased streets? Are you here to join our ranks and beg for an employer? Or are you actually here to hire someone? And if I said I was looking for work? Gravedigger or charlatan. I might be looking for a henchman. We 
who are you that you interrogate possible employers? <laughs> You're a local girl, aren't you? You seem pretty sure of yourself. Hmm. And just what skills do you have? Well, I'm a bard as well, so I can understand that ambition. However, I don't know that our skill sets would complement each other. <laughs> you left behind a life of riches. What do you know about the Black Lake District? Yeah, each of the henchmen knows a particular part of the city. So we're getting to know a little bit about these city districts that we're going to be going to. That's good to know. <laughs> and I love Sharwin. Let's check out your chest. Maybe I can loot you. Okay, okay. Oh, that's right. I still have Tommy. If I can't unlock it, he certainly can. Never mind. I got it. Stealing your gold, Sharwin. I kind of forgot that we still had Tommy as our henchman there. All right, those are just regular old mercenaries. Hello there. Oh. All right, I'll put it away. Hello there. Oh shit! Wow. Well met. Hey, what? Yeah, everybody likes me because my charisma is high. Who's this Grax dude? Hey, I'll tell ye. Tell me I'm up for it. Uh, do I have 50 gold? I do, but I have another henchman to hire. Uh, here, I'll pay for it. We can persuade them down to 100. Oh, in the Black Lake District, okay. Arabeth tolerates mercenaries when never one has a standing militia. Oh. Hmm, okay. What do you know of the plague? Goodbye. Yeah, he's not a henchman. I'm kind of glad he's not. He does not seem the sort that I want to associate with. Alright. Uh, 
know there's a few over here. Oh, there's one in there, I forgot. Sometimes I'll stay in character, sometimes I will not. My voice. Alright, this is Grimnor. I know you. You were at the academy during the slaughter of the students. You were there when the assassins came. Who are you? How do you know about the academy? Monk. a little bit creepy, Grimnor. What kind of skills does a monk of the, or of the Order of the Long Death possess? That's strange. I don't feel like talking right now. Goodbye. I mean, you can learn a little bit more from him. I, I don't remember anymore. I think he's the beggar's nest. I never take him. Because <laughs> he's just a little too creepy for my taste. And I don't know. He just doesn't fit my characters. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's a beggar's nest. Okay, here's another Hello one. Hello there. You don't have the look of one of those Neverwinter soldiers about you. Neither do you show any evidence of having contracted the plague. You're right, I am an adventurer. My name is Kala Undamia. Who are you? Sorry guys, I just want to play with the sound options a little bit again. Voices is fine, I could even have them higher. Sound effects. Yeah, again, I like the sound effects, but they're a little too quiet or too loud. So I'll put them down at the music volume. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry. Zoom game. There we are. Bodinok Glinkle, a gnome sorcerer from the island of Lantern. Oh, that's him. I'm doing it in my voice, and it's him. Uh, Lantern, isn't that the place where all those crazy inventions come from? Sorcerer, I thought Lantern looked down on magic. What are you doing in Neverwinter? A scientific discovery. Why the beggar's nest? Yeah, I'm almost positive that the Grimna, the evil monk, was, he was he knows about the beggar's nest too because that's the source of the plague. Why did you stop your investigations? <laughs> yeah, that would be hard. Zombie infestation. All right. Uh, I just I want to see everybody before we decide. He's a sorcerer. I already have magic, so that's something else. 
Okay, one more. One of my favorites. Do you do Please around? now, I already told you that I didn't mean to step on your cat. It ran right in front. Oh, you're not that other one. <laughs> Who are you? Go ahead. <laughs> well, I'm not technically a thief. I'm a bard. Um, okay, well, I might as well be honest then. They have an honest answer. I don't like the rest of the description, but I am a thief, yes. <laughs> Tommy's response would be, it's not like she needed them anymore. No, I'm going to say no. Okay. Why are you here in the barracks rather than helping the plague victims? Huh, I wonder if she ran into uh, Arabeth when she was there. Okay, what? then what happened after you fainted? <laughs> this seems different than what I remember, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> well, th that could happen to anyone. This is different. They changed it for the enhanced today. <laughs> She's still the same. I mean, one thing leads to another, disaster after disaster, but this story is different. Are you really that clumsy? Then why are you here? They attacked you while you were helping plague victims. Wow. Oh. Do you know anything else about the Black Lake District? That's very true. We have a quest along those lines. Okay. All right, guys. So we have Linu Lanara, the clumsy cleric. And if you guys know anything at all about Dungeons and Dragons or this game, it's always a good idea to have a healer around. We have Bodinok Glinkle, the gnomish sorcerer. I think he's a sorcerer, not um, not a cleric. We have the evil monk Grimnaw, who's in there. We have Sharwin the bard, who we're already a bard. She knows about Black Lake. And we have Dalen, the Uthgard barbarian fighter, um, who knows about the docks. So, Dalen, the docks, Sharwin, the Black Lake district, uh, Grimnaw is the beggar's nest, pretty sure. Body Knock, the sorcerer, knows about the beggar's nest also. And Linu Lanaral is Black. Black Lake. Or, oh, and then we have Tommy, too. Tommy Undergallows the Thief. 
and he knows the peninsula, which is the probably the first place we're going to end up going. Now, we could pick any of them for the whole game. Another thing we could do is uh, take turns with some of them uh, based on what their expertise area is. Like, Tommy would be for the peninsula. You know, he knows about that. Nobody else does, so he's the only one. Um, and then we could switch over, like, to Dalen for the dogs or what have you. The thing is, Tommy is a thief, so if we use him first for the peninsula, we're going to be doing most of the hand-to-hand -hand, hand -hand combat. <laughs> Which I do as well. I, I could do that. It's just not entirely built for that. I don't know. What do you guys think? What should we pick for this? I'm just not sure I like the idea of taking Tommy because I'm a little squishy, you know? I've got a AC of 15. What's his AC? His is 17, actually, so he'd be much better than me. Plus, he's got a nice weapon. He's got a Kukri plus one. I do not. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna alter my stats a little bit. His stats are crazy. I'm not gonna go crazy with this, but let's give her a little more well-rounded set of stats. Uh, let's see. Dexterity, I'll make 14. 14. Where is she? Kala. Uh, okay, let's see. Her constitution bothers me a little bit too. The um, oops, set. But her constitution, I already raised to twelve. Uh, wisdom, meh. Constitution. I like that fourteen as well. That's better than what we have. Uh, strength. Wisdom. No, well, let's make her wisdom twelve. Twelve. Um the strength is twelve right now. So I don't know. We should raise... I'll tell you what. Let's make a constitution 16 and then we'll raise the strength to 14. How's that? I mean, the, the henchmen have stats like those, so... Oops. No. DM set strength to 14. And then we'll change our constitution to 16. Okay, there we go. And I'm a little more comfortable there taking Tommy. Because I like the idea of taking each uh, each henchman you know to the their respective places. There, and I gave her 5,000 gold which is not really much, trust me. In this game, when everything is super duper expensive, we're, you know, that's not much. Okay. I think that's good. I feel a little more comfortable taking Tommy with me. So why don't we go ahead and take Tommy? We'll hit the peninsula first. And then we can come back, depending on where we decide to go next, and pick up one of the other henchmen for one of the other districts. All right. Because they obviously, obviously want us to go to the peninsula first. All right. Now let's go loot a little bit first, since there are things out here for us to get, and we're gonna need the money. William, who are you? It is a long day. I could use a drink. <laughs> Doomsayer. What? 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 Oh, hello. Okay. Right. There's also a house here. We can go in the house. 
it actually pays to explore everywhere because um, you'll find some very interesting things some places. Whoops. Oh, I forgot here. I'm sorry, guys. Let me. I thought I turned this off. There. Okay, there we go. The debug was messing things up. It's a house. We can loot from it. There's nobody down here to say no. Except that that doesn't have anything interesting. So we'll just look around a few houses and then we're going to go to the peninsula. Commoner. Hey, it's a kid. Hi. Oh, don't worry. I serve Arababeth and the city guard. about rumors <laughs> okay yeah, I won't I won't bother you where's your mom there she is greetings to you I like her voice I am in service to Erebeth and the city guard oh sure I'm not trying to be rude have you heard anything odd? Any rumors? Okay, she's not going to give us anything else. Please leave my home as you found it. Sure. I won't hurt your home. Uh, by the way, I stole a gold from your <laughs> bureau. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, where are we at right now? We're... Oh, so little. We're outside the docks. We're not going there right away, so let's not um, linger there. Let's see what Clancy's doing there. Greetings. Thank you for the warning. Ah, uh, Moonstone Mask. Oh, I wanted to talk to... Um, there's a prostitute outside the Moonstone Mask, and... Her story is very sad, but I think it's worth hearing. There she is, a courtesan. Go, hurry up, run. Bonjour. Hello. Uh, about those souls. Um, could I ask you some questions? Why are you out here on the street? You're sick. You should be inside somewhere. Why wouldn't you go to the Moonstone Mask? Hmm. How has the plague affected your trade? But you certainly don't need the coin if, uh, That's sad. See, I, I, it just that, to me, this is a heartbreaking story, and it's something that could happen today in the world. So, is there anything going on in this area of the city? Maybe you've heard something of interest. Wow. I'd be interested in work, if you know of anything. Okay. I think I'm just... We'll just say goodbye. Oh. How much do I have? 
Oh, that's right. I gave myself some money. Good, then I can give you. Take this. A hundred gold pieces. Go and find someplace warm tonight and rest. She said she had kids, too. And certain actions will raise your alignment. I just got seven points towards good for that. That's not why I did it, but her story, it gets me every time I hear it, so. Well, you are so welcome. Okay. Oh, yeah, we are going to go into the Moonstone Mask. We need to pick up a quest in there. Don't need a nail. It won't do anything for me. We do have to go in March for the random pleasure, but we have to pick up a quest. Who are you, Gillies? What? Hmm. I will listen. What is it you wish to say? I do what needs to be done. What is your offer? Even in times of plague, you scheme. How petty. <sighs> well, again, you have an option here. You could do something with this guy. You could accept his offer, and you would gain some evil points, but you get a little more coin. Why do you think I'm working for Olaf? Hmm. You were at the tomb and didn't help the dying? That's despicable. Give me Jacob's quill now. Now, I don't have tear in faith, but I'm a nice person. <laughs> yeah, giving you the option. Give me the quill now, you evil bastard. Hm, puppet peon. Shove your trinket, your morals, and your blind uh, righteousness where the light of the tear doesn't shine. All right, and because we were good, we got Jacob's Quill, which is one of the artifacts from the tomb. This object bears an inscription in delicate writing. Jacob, in service of Tyr, truth be revealed in your words. Alright, so that helps us along the road towards getting <laughs> that quest completed. Alright, and we need to go talk to Chitofala. Well now, welcome to the Moonstone Mask. I am Ophala, your host and purveyor of fine spirits and entertainment. I'm sure, but I'm not here for that. Well, hello. I am Carla Undamniel. Will you answer some questions? What kind of place do you run here? Again, I am very innocent. <laughs> Most. Oh, you can trust me. What have you got to say? Hmm. Tell me about these art objects.
I will get them. Give me more details. I mean, she not, obviously she's not a completely immoral woman, but um, they're from really, really stuck up rich people. <laughs> so that interests me. And gold. Black Lake. And docks. And she's not asking me to kill either, so that doesn't sound too bad. Okay, now here's the thing. <laughs> Ordinarily, my character would never ask about the back rooms, but there is a quest that we can do to be nice to somebody if we um, if we go in the back rooms. So, I'll say, I'm interested in the back room. A common body, how is that outraged? No, I'm not outraged. I'm just curious. <laughs> and I have a quest I want to perform. I want permission to access the back rooms. I have to get a writ from Olaf. Oh. Oof, that's expensive. I don't even have that much money, so I can't do that right away. Thank you. I'll return directly. Okay, let's talk to Torgo. If they have a generic hey, name, they probably won't say a lot, but anybody who has a name has something interesting to say. Oh, he has wares for sale. Have that. I do have a little bit of money now. Belt of Agility would raise our dexterity, so with that, really we need armor more than anything else. Ooh. Uh, charisma plus one, light low yellow, concentration plus one, persuade plus three. That is a sweet. We don't quite have enough money for it yet, though. All right, what else you got? Anything interesting? He does have a ring that would give us another thing of AC. We have 16 now that I upgraded our constitution. Uh, I don't think we're going to buy anything from him, but let's talk to him. Hey, I'll tell ye. Oh, that's right. That's okay. Okay, let's just double check, make sure there's no one else here that we need to talk to. And we can't go into the back room. Okay. Yeah, we can't do the rest here yet here because uh, we have to have the writ from Olaf. And you'll see that our quest oops, quest tab has been updated, Moonstone Mask, about getting all the artifacts. And if you forget the details, they're here for you. But, I don't know if I checked the trade or not. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Oops. Okay, so we're looking for the peninsula. We're going to go there first. Where are we? Docks, peninsula. Okay, we need to go south, which is this way. Okay, so this should be... Yep, this is a peninsula gate. And since we're here... We'll check these crates and talk to maybe a few people. I don't need ale. Why do you keep giving me ale? I don't think he has can anything I help good you? we can check. Just striding. Give you a constitution plus one. Nymph cloak. That gives you constitution plus one. Which would be nice, but it would also be nice to have some more protection. So that would give us one more to our AC. Oh, we could try to get a ring. Let me see if he has a ring, because that's actually not a bad idea. He does have a ring of protection from this one. What do you guys think? A cloak or a ring? Ring of Insight's not a bad idea either. It gives you lore plus five. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get a map of the area because that's very useful to have. And I'm going to buy at 
Oh, I won't have enough for my ring first. Uh, let's get a cloak. We'll get the cloak of protection. And that raised our AC by one. And do we still have enough for this? We do. Will it stack? I don't know. Let's see. If it doesn't, we'll sell it back. So it raised it to 18? No, it didn't. Okay, we'll sell it back. Uh, let's see. Let's see, our inventory is already getting clogged up. I'm going to try not to do this as much in front of you guys, just because it's boring to watch me organize, I'm sure. But at the moment, there. It's not as much to organize right now, so. Okay. Um, what else was I interested in? The boots, perhaps? Oh, I was going to get a, a bag. Now, there's all kinds of bags. Ultimately, what you'd love to have is a bag of holding, but they don't have a bag of holding um, yet. Bag of holding basically takes away all the weight from an object, any object that you put in it. Um, but we should have at least one bag because we are going to be collecting a lot of stuff and it's going to get very heavy. It's also a good way to keep things organized. And typically the ones that are the more most expensive reduce the weight more. So in this case, reduces the weight by 80%. So I'm going to get that too. Just a few purchases here at the beginning to make things a little bit easier. I'll stay there. Okay. Um, I think that's good for now. We can get the rest as we need. And let's talk to these dudes outside of the peninsula. I greet you, my child. Please, can you help? We have lost family to the plague. An escaped convicts in the peninsula distract district prevents us from even mourning in our own homes. Perhaps I could help? I, I don't know if you can or not. I'm not sure what has gone wrong in there. I just know that it, if we try to go back to our homes, we'll be killed. If there's something you can do, please, I'm begging you, help us. I ask you some questions? Mm. Oh, he doesn't give you any details. Alright. I think she says I the same greet thing. You. Escape criminals. Mm. What can I do to help? Hero. All right. So obviously there's lots of people that need, need help. Well met. Lady Arabeth has assigned me temporary militia, militia duty. Could you answer some questions about the Peninsula District? Is there any way I can help out in there? Look, I'm here to help, remember? Prison break. Yeah, each district has a safe place we can go and somebody to report to. How bad is it in there? Mm. Are there any places I should look out for in the Peninsula District? Captain Kip. Goodbye. Alright, and now we can get through. Do I have my weapon drawn yet? Didn't. You know what I should have gotten? I should have gotten a shield. Does this wait a minute? There was a merchant right there. Does he have any shields? Let me just double check because shields can I help you? raise your AC too. So let me see if he has any of those. Uh, he doesn't, at least not here. Oh yes he does. He has a small shield. And a, a large shield, but I don't like large shields. That'll raise us by one. It's better than what we got. 
Okay. Now they get us to 18. All right. Thought I thought of that before we went in. All right, guys. Let's venture forth into the peninsula. Now, uh, we're very obviously not going to complete the peninsula district this episode, but I want to at least go in. Get us started. Oh, gate cap. Well met. How did they escape? Hmm. Where's this prison? Are any areas safe? Southeast, okay. That'll be our first stop then. Does the militia have a plan of attack? Thanks for the warning. All right. First, let's check out this full wagon. Do you guys go? Oh! The light Creepers already. I will not fail. Um. There's a house over here. Let's go in the house. Forlorn woman. It is a pleasure. Hey. It is a pleasure to speak with you. There. Don't worry, Mom. I'll look into it. You are so welcome, but I'm going to loot you before I leave. <laughs> oh, oh, you have a spirits. I don't want those. Yeah, they... You can loot pretty much anybody. <laughs> you don't always get much, but sometimes you find some very interesting things. And if there is a place that has some interesting stuff to be found, I'll try to remember to visit there when we go. All right. Oh, wait. Here's a box. Is there anything up here? Yes. It's a crate. Interestingly, and the further we go, you'll recognize this more. Okay, okay. Um. Oh. If if people would just. If the people would just search the chest for themselves, oh, done. they would find everybody's complaining about being poor, not having money and stuff. If they would just go through the chest themselves throughout the city, they'd have lots of money. <laughs> and okay, you, you, okay. you'll be shocked. You'll see how, how many um, chests and crates there are to loot. So. Ah, oh, it's done. Thank you, Tommy. The place is de it's really not lacking for money, but of course for the story they say it is. Okay, and we need to go southeast once we get out here. Oh, here, this way. Southeast! Because that's where... Wait a minute. Am I going backwards? No, okay, we need to go up here. This is uh, where Sado Seville is, is in the southeast, so let's go up here and look. Ah! Creepers! Attack my henchmen. Comes He's getting attacked again, isn't he? Woohoo! I will not be defeated! Oh, look Tommy. This part. He's getting ah. wailed on. You okay, Tommy? Uh, there's more. Ah. Trying to help you out here, Tommy. go and they're dropping all kinds of stuff as they die
Is that all? I think that's it. All right, this way, Tommy. Come along, then. Corpses to loot. Guess they don't need it anymore. Did I get this one already? I think I did. Yeah. Okay, this way. This is southeast. Oh, Tommy found some more people to fight. Alright, I'm trying to keep to a general path here. I'm going southeast. Ah! Uh, that was easy. Ah! Oh my gosh! Look at him! Hey. They weren't kidding when they said these streets are dangerous. Yeah, for the average person, this is frightening. Don't need those. What's this? I'll take the gold. Okay, southeast. Wait a minute, there's another southeast here. This way is southeast, really. I'm not. Boy, am I not used to this camera mode. Here, here's a house. Let's go in the house. Oh! We needed to come in here. That's awesome. What are you doing here? Stay tuned, tend to me. I greet you. I have been sent here by Olaf to see Briley. This is for the, uh, the quest from Olaf to find the Tombs of Never. I am indeed. Can I ask you questions about this place? Oh. Alright, let's go see what's going on with Briley in this, um, Never's Tomb. Well, we know that that one guy, the evil guy from that tavern, the servant of Salona, stole something from one of them who was dead. So, debris? Click on the debris. Garnet. I think I checked it. Okay, what's this? Is there other stuff in here? I don't remember. Oh no, not not really. There's a few things to check. But... Okay. Oh, and Tommy is taking care of that trap that's on the floor. That red square means there's, uh, it's done. Means there's a, a trap on the floor. Riley! I have a letter from Olaf he sent me. Can you tell me about these tombs? Oh, what have you learned from this tomb? Journal. Jacob is the one that got killed by that guy from Tolona, which I can't remember his name. Where are the other tombs located? Hmm. Did you find any artifacts in here? Someone did, unfortunately, but I won't tell you that. Any questions? Rumors? Nope. 
All right, thank you. No, the quill is not here, but I have it. Okay, and I'm taking the items. And let's read the journal. Because we need to know this. This book details the initial search for the tomb of Halueth Never. It is unfinished, the writer obviously falling to the plague before he could include many details, but it does point to the possible locations for three to tombs in addition to the one in the Peninsula District. In the Beggar's Nest, the Great Graveyard, the Docks District, Northwestern Quarter, Aqueducts, Black Lake District, Southwestern Quarter. The directions are vague, but the book does mention that each tomb is likely sealed with a magically protected door. A riddle of some sort is the key to each. The solution to the peninsula tomb door was emerald, which was answered by actually placing an emerald in the container immediately next to the door. It is worth noting that this action seemed to destroy the item, making it an expensive discovery. Hmm. And this is the riddle that was on a peninsula tomb, this one. Diamond of the forest if the seasons never changed. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to have similar puzzles when we get to the other tombs. And now we know where they're going to be. Alright, I, I just want to get this over to Seda Sabula and then we're going to end this episode because it's getting very long. I've mentioned this before, but it's very hard to do short episodes for this game because there's just so much that you've got to get through and do. And we don't want the playthrough to be like into two years from now. <laughs> I'd rather not. Just checking out the other rooms for loot. Can usually find something. A chest. Okay, turkey. I can unlock two, Tommy, but you know whatever. Ah, adventuring. Thank you. All right, let's go find Sado Sibyl. I'm gonna continue heading southeast. Southeast. This way, there's a priest of Helm. Oh wait, and a box. And a chest. Tommy? I'll do it too. <laughs> Gold. Why did it do that? Oh, I think we're in the right place. Mizzen Mast Mercantile. Let's see what's in there. Oh, hey, a merchant. Hello there. What you got? Anything interesting? Have a shield, I'll need that. Some boots. Ordinarily a nymph cloak would be a good thing, but right now my AC is more important. What am I using a flail? And it's a D8. I think we decided to keep it because of that. But the scimitar, I didn't really look at the scimitar. Oh, it's a D6. Rapiers are also good. That's a d6 though. We're doing better with our flail than these. Just does more damage. The warhammer is also d8, but I think it's a two-handed weapon, isn't it? Medium wet, medium size. Just stick with the flail for now. We don't need to be spending money. Uh Ooh, there's some more bags. Ooh, that's a really expensive one too, but I don't have that much money anymore. Alright, you don't really have anything worth being here. <laughs> so let's just go out. Who are you? Hello. My name's Kala. How can I help? And where is she? been a prison break. Are these your headquarters? Uh, 
Are these your hair collectors? Okay. Alright. That's all I needed to know. Check this barrel and then we're gonna go in and see Sedos. So I think I'm saying that right, who knows. Alright, anyway. Here we go. This is our destination. We'll talk to her and then uh, we'll end this particular episode. Don't worry, we'll keep going after. There you are. Sure is good to see a friendly face. What brings you here in the midst of all this chaos? You wouldn't be a new recruit, would you? I am indeed, but I want to look at you. This woman appears aware of everything around her, thriving amidst the chaos. She doesn't have the tired look her militia companions suffer from. All right. Yeah, Lady Arabeth has a temporarily signed me militia service. I'm called Kala. What kind of job? Oof, get inside the prison. 300 gold piece bonus. Hmm. Uh, how do you intend to get me into the prison? Uh, perhaps you'd be willing to give an advance? Ah. Doesn't seem like much pay for a lot of work. <laughs> Just trying to negotiate. Get us some more money. Alright. Uh, what dangers are you aware of? Watch out for the head goal, a Alephan. Hmm. Alephan? What can you tell me about him? Hmm. All right, I guess I'm your woman. Okay. Well, first I'm going to loot these barrels, and then I'll go. <laughs> okay, is that all that's in here? I think it may be... Nope, oh, there's a box. Or did I already get this box? I don't remember. Oh, well... I'll take it. Okay. Summary will be easy. Because it doesn't seem like we did a lot, but it just took a while doing it. Uh, and we have the new quest, the Peninsula Key, and the Prison Break. So it's going to be our job to figure out what's going on. Now I'm going to save it, guys. And we're going to go ahead and call that an episode. And again, I, I know that this game takes a while, but it I, it's to me it's worth it in the end, okay? You guys, the story is amazing, and you'll love it. I really think you will. But All right. I'll see you guys next episode. Retro's YT signing out, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.